Hello everyone, so we are now down to our next lesson which is all about the problem solving and reasoning and we subdivided this lesson into three main parts but for this video we will just be discussing the part one which is all about the different kinds of reasoning okay basically mathematics is not just about numbers much of it is problem solving and reasoning and accordingly problem solving and reasoning are basically inseparable meaning you cannot separate reasoning from having problem solving or you cannot have problem solving without just having this kind of reasoning another one the art of reasoning is very important in mathematics because typically mathematics is established using proofs and reasoning another one reasoning is the practice of stating ideas clearly and precisely to arrive at a conclusion and next one Logic and reasoning are useful tools in decision-making. Whenever you want to have a good decision-making, you have to use reasoning and logic. And in the aspect of reasoning, we have this typical term, which is the so-called conjecture. So a conjecture is a conclusion made from observing a data. Meaning, when you observe, analyze a data, and you arrive at a conclusion, that conclusion is called the conjecture okay okay let's move okay we as humans we are a rational being and we behave in different ways so we also have different kinds of reasoning your reasoning may differ from one another and there are the types of reasoning or kinds of reasoning listed here first is the intuition next one the analogy Next thing is the inductive reasoning, and the last one is deductive reasoning. Okay, let's discuss first the intuition. Okay, intuition is a kind of reasoning which is similar to guessing. Meaning, you don't need some proofs or some other things to do, but you, you typically give reasoning or statement that, that is just similar to guessing. And that is an intuition. Another one, it is also called reasoning by guessing or reasoning by common sense. Another thing is, it is highly subjective because when you try to give reasoning using intuition or just using your instinct, uh, it may differ from the reasoning of some other people. So, reasoning by intuition is said to be highly subjective. Okay. An intuition is the ability to acquire knowledge without proof, evidence, and conscious reasoning without understanding how the knowledge was acquired. Meaning, uh, you give directly a reasoning without that proof or evidences, or even conscious reasoning without understanding how the knowledge was acquired. And that is a kind of reason which is intuition. So, let's give an example of an intuition. A reasoning which is called an intuition say for example this one after the first meeting in her statistics class Maria says I think I will like statistics so uh, pagkatapos ng klase nila yung first meeting sabi ni Maria okay parang nagustuhan ko yung uh, first meeting namin so I think uh, magugustuhan ko yung statistics na klase namin all in all so meaning Hindi na niya inobserbahan yung susunod pa na mga uh, days sa kanilang meeting in their statistics class. And he typically gives reason by just having the first meeting. And that is a kind of reasoning which is just intuition because she is just typically guessing. Okay? So, next one is a kind of reasoning which is the so-called analogy. So, what is an analogy? It is a form of reasoning in which other similarities are inferred from a particular similarity between two or more things. Kung kanina, sa intuition, you don't need some other things to do. You just typically guess and give reasoning and that is an intuition. Ngayon, uh, ito naman ay isang type ng reasoning in which you have to compare some things or some things to an inferred or meaning concluded things na nauna. Okay, 
it is a reasoning by comparison meaning you compare two things para makonclude yung uh, susunod na idea okay example analogy tree is to leaf as flowers to petal meaning uh, sure tayo na flowers to petal because of the two preceding terms compared or concluded things na ito yung tree is to leaf Meaning, we have flowers to petal because of this first statement, which is tree is to live. Meaning, we compare the two uh, following statements to the first one, which is already concluded and true. Next one, hammer is to nail as comb is to hair. Okay, comparison pa rin. Okay, next one, we also have this third kind of reasoning, which is inductive reasoning. So, what it is? So, it is the process of gathering in specific information, usually through observation and measurement, and then making a conjecture based on gathered information. So it is a kind of reasoning in which you start from specific information, meaning you collect specific information and you uh, generalize it through a conclusion and that is inductive reasoning you start from a specific one going to generalization or conclusion okay let's have an example of this one okay shall we say the chair in the living room is red meaning uh, first statement pa lang sinabi na ang chair sa living room is red so meaning pang specific information siya Next one, next statement. The chair in the bedroom is red. So, next statement, red pa rin. Next one, the chair in the dining room is red. So, meaning, uh, all the chairs in the house are red. So, meaning, this kind of reasoning, uh, he concluded that all the chairs in the house are red. So, meaning, ito na yung conclusion niya. So, yung conclusion niya is nakabase pa rin sa first statements which is specific one. Una niyang tiningnan yung chair ng uh, living room, so red. Next one, inesa-isa niya, yung sa bedroom is red pa rin. And next one, sa dining room is red. So, he generalized it as the chairs, all the chairs in the house are red. So, that is a kind of reason which is inductive, meaning nag-start siya from a specific one going to a general conclusion. Okay, ano pang example nito, sir? For example, sabihin natin na uh, the leaf of a banana tree is green. Okay, the color of the uh, leaf of a grass is green and the color of some other leaves are green. So meaning, I will generalize it as, okay, the color of all leaf, leaves are green. So meaning, uh, yun a type of reasoning which is intuition. Kasi we started from specific ideas going to a general conclusion and that is inductive reasoning. Next one. Okay, the last type of reasoning is the deductive reasoning. Okay? Deductive reasoning is kabaliktaran sa sinasabi nating inductive reasoning. Okay? Deduct, from the word itself, deduct. <laughs> Parang from general conclusion going to specific one. So meaning, you get a specific information from a general conclusion. Okay? It is the process of showing that certain statements follow log logically from agreed upon assumptions and proven facts. Meaning, kung kanina sa inductive, we started from specific, tapos mag-generalize tayo, dito naman, from a general or a assumed to be true facts, we will get some specific informations there. So, ano example nito sir? Okay, let's have this one. Suppose that the given statement is true, use deductive reasoning to give another statement that must be true. Okay, unang statement. Okay, all birds can fly. So kung kanina, uh, uh, from the beginning or from specific inf informations like yung color ng chair ng bedroom, so meaning nakakuha siya ng general na statement from having that specific uh, statements. Ngayon, we started from a general truth which is 
all birds can fly meaning lahat lahat ng birds daw can fly another statement okay if this is assumed to be true Tweety is a bird meaning first statement all birds can fly and Tweety is a bird so meaning we can also have some third statement statement which is also true by having that uh, two preceding statements and that is okay because Tweety is a bird and all birds can fly so Tweety can also fly so that kind of reasoning is deductive reasoning and we typically use deductive reasoning especially in mathematics you know, for example sa algebra we started from a general uh, expression and we try to get the answer using some other proofs and some other calculations so we use typically in solving we use deductive reasoning in that to get the final answer or specific answer and that is the kind of reasoning which is deductive reasoning so i hope so you learned from this video especially the, the different kinds of reasoning and for another video we'll just be discussing the two remaining parts thank you very much for watching